Dan Rodolfi with Lestrada Partners, uh, showing you a little bit about the mix design module in Lestrada. I'm going to show you a mix design which I have loaded here in Lestrada, and then once you have a mix design completed, how you can use that information over and over again uh, to report to uh, DOTs, maybe local agencies, uh, maybe you've got your own internal reporting as well for inventory management or setting up your hot plant. So um, what you see here is the, the header screen for a mix design, which has uh, the basic information that goes with every mix design, uh, the specification, the plant, um, if you want to assign it to a project, which projects it's assigned to, and so on. Um, <clears throat> we look at uh, individual blends. Um, so we've got aggregates that make up this mix design. Um, and these, uh, this aggregate information can come from the aggregate module in Lestrada, as well as uh, you can also register external samples or maybe uh, put in information that's provided to you by your uh, vendors. Um, you've got wrap and of course when we get to trial mixes we're going to have information about the binder that we're using here as well. Um, what you see here are trial mix results, individual asphalt content points, a verification point, and so on. So we've um, created this mix design uh, where we start with a blend um, so here are all the aggregates uh, gradations that we have in the system. Um, in Lestrada, you have a number of different ways to develop a blend. I can type in aggregate amounts. I can fix amounts like the wrap content. Um, and then you also have this slick little tool. If, if you are a user of the Bailey method or you like to really design off of the shape of the 4-5 power curve, um, you can then drag and drop data points around and then Lestrada will go ahead and adjust uh, the percentages um, to try to match the shape of the curve as best as you may want to do it, as you've tried to do it here. So um, it's a nice little tool. So once you've got your trial mixes, you've established your binder content by saying, hey, look, I want 4% air voids. We've now established a 4.9% binder content. I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. And then now this is the easy part. Um, you basically say, okay, now I want to report this information. So I've got quite a few examples loaded up here. So in California, a producer has to submit two forms, a 3511 and a 3512. So I click on the 3511, and now my job mix formula targets are here, my production tolerances are added, the information about the contractor, the project, the uh, contract number of the project, the mix ID from the producer, specifications, and so on are completed here and um, all the information that they need to submit to the to the DOT is all ready for them to go um, and one of the nice features is uh, we also store signatures along with the individual account so my name and signature has also been added to this paperwork as well so now if I have to submit this all I can do is all I simply have to do is email it save it um, any of those things can be done within uh, Lestrada so if I take a look at that same design, so I've created my 3511. Like I said, in California, we also have to do this other nine-page document um, called the 3512. And now, same idea. Here's my 3512 completed. Um, I've got gradation curves, and there are seven more pages to go on this document. Um, so those are two DOT examples in California. Uh, I could be in New York, and New York has multiple pages, so using that same information. If I wanted to use this design in New York, I would use this document here. Same information, just reported in a different layout. Um, and then, you know, it doesn't stop there. You know, typically, if you are setting up a plant, you know, a mix design for a plant, you've got to communicate to the hot plant what you expect uh, the feeders to be set at. So we, we've created this simple form that says, here's information about the mix design, the binder grade supplier, the virgin binder content, the wrap content, total binder content, so that you can establish the uh, settings that you need to for the hot plant. And not every plant is set of controls is the same, so you pick the information you need off of the sheet and you put it in there. You, of course, as you have the ability um, to modify any of these forms as needed. Um, so like if you only have five aggregates and you want to remove the fifth row, I could do that very simply. And then next time this loads, this form will only fill five pages or five lines, I'm sorry. 
Um, and then the other example I have for today um, made with the, uh, the Strata template manager is we give everybody just a standard blank generic mixed design template to use you know for general purposes where you want to communicate information about uh, a mixed design um, some real basic information but you don't want to give out too much information so you basically just tell them hey here's what our product code is here's the plant it was done this way here are my gradations and my tolerances and so on okay so uh, I hope this was uh, useful information. Uh, if you want to learn more about Listrata and the Template Manager and Template Toolbox that comes with each Listrata uh, implementation, feel free to visit us at www.listratapartners.com or of course you can call us at area code 855-747-8254. Thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you.